What's going on you guys? Sean here with Venture Art House. This weekend we're going to be shooting a commercial. Alright, what's up you guys? We're here on day two, the final shoot day of the Asher Levine from the Vault campaign. Uh, so as we were talking about yesterday, we're going to get everything rigged out of here. These are going to be the first shots for the day. I'm going to put up the uh, new light matte spectrum up here. We got RGB in there, so we're going to do some cool effects with that. Uh, so when the models come out right over here, they'll have a nice big soft key source. And then in the background, we're going to have a, a Leco right over there. Let's walk in there real quick and check it out. Um, this will be the vault and we're going to have this uh, ETC for, Source 4 Leco right over here. We're going to put a CTB on it, a full, just way we can convert it to uh, daylight and that will just be blasting in as a nice uh, backlight. Um, and then they're going to do some wild VFX. I have no idea how that's going to fucking look. Uh, pretty excited for it. So we'll get everything popping off. The crew's going to get here in a little bit. We got Steadicam. We got a bunch of good people coming out to help out today. So should be a fun one. Up there is a baby pin receiver. This is called a C clamp, and we put it on there so we can just clamp that right up. And then this little baby receiver with the ball head is gonna go right in there. I love you, light mat. These are honestly some of my favorite lights. You can rig them anywhere, just about, because they're super light. Hence, light mat. They got great output. This one's got. Uh, RGB in it, you got multiple sources of diffusion, you got a grid to shape it, and they're pretty cheap to rent. So I think if we did this right, if we if we have any idea what we're fucking doing at all, we should have a vault. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so we got red going on right now. It's probably gonna be something a little bit more neutral, but we got red. I think we're gonna do a little bit of red action today too. So um, basically we decided this light was running just a little bit too hot, so we just added a Cardellini clamp right up there on the pipe uh, with the gobo arm and the C-stand, and then we just got a one uh, quarter silk right over there. So we just get double diffusion, makes the light just a little bit creamier and it's just not so harsh. Uh, so the further the distance of your diffusion away from your light source, it's going to get softer, and the bigger the light source, the softer. So. Should look pretty good. And then also what I'm gonna do right now is because I just don't want the light spilling everywhere. Uh, Nick here has got a solid and we're just gonna add that like as a backer right over there so it doesn't spill like all over the vault. And let's get this thing up here. All right, so this is gonna be our camera package for today. We're shooting uh, Red Gemini 5K. Um, we got Koa Anamorphics on here, some awesome vintage Anamorphics. Uh, so it's gonna give us a lot of character. Right now for the vault shot, we're shooting 40 mil. Um, and then we just black shaded the camera. We're gonna be shooting this whole thing in 60 frames and put it in a 24 timeline. We're not really gonna slow down everything. Uh, the reason that we do that, and if you notice a lot of commercials, they have a much more sharp, like polished look, but they're not in slow motion and they also don't have that weird soap opera uh, 60 frame per second playback. It just gives you a lot less motion blur and it makes things sharper and more crisp. Being that this is like fashion brand and we want to showcase the products, we don't want all that motion blur and everything. Uh, so we're going to shoot 60 frames. But also at the same time, our challenge is, is that we need enough light output for the amount of light that we're losing. And in addition, we're shooting on anamorphic. So anamorphic lenses are notoriously pretty soft. Um, so we need the lens to be stopped down at least to about a four just to get some usable, decently sharp imagery. Uh, so we have the light mat, light mat up at like full output and we're at native ISO on the Gemini of uh, 800. And we're pretty much getting our exposure, um, but 60 frames is gonna look cool so we can slow it up. Um, we can keep it at real time if we want to and it's gonna look really cool.
Uh, Teradek, if you're listening to this, I love small HD, but you fucking suck. Uh, Teradek cut out, so we lost all feed on the video village, and I'm gonna have to pull focus over the shoulder of the Steadicam. Not the biggest deal, but holds up production, not cool. So, just gotta roll with the punches and keep on going. All right. All right, guys. Three, two, one, and action. Camber. Keep coming, Aaron. You're clear. Solid. And stop. Hold it. Hold. And cut. guys so we just wrapped up the entire day going on about 14 hours here and uh, just headed home right now Joe's taking me home um, if you're wondering why this video is grainy as all hell and looks like shit and maybe the audio sounds not exactly the best uh, recording on my iPhone right now on the way home because it's all I got with me uh, but just want to say a huge thanks to everybody who's a part of this production uh, I think we brought it <laughs> it couldn't have been any better. The lighting was on point. The uh, talent, the makeup, everything was just, I don't know. It was probably honestly the most releasing and fulfill, fulfilling project that I have ever shot living out here. And uh, one year ago, I couldn't imagine shooting shit like this uh, when I first moved to LA. So extremely thankful for all the opportunities. Uh, Sean for Venture Art House and Joe over here, my main fucking guy. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoy the campaign. See you on the next one.